Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I want to talk about quite possibly the greatest power pop band of all time. Now, what is power pop? Ask 27 different people and you're going to get 26 and a half different answers. And I will also tell you, ask 27 bands and you're going to get 26 of them saying, no, we're not strictly power pop. That's really the case because a lot of bands are so much more than that. Rubenus, they are known as the finest in power pop. While other bands get credit for being a great power pop band, and there are plenty of them. We're talking Shoes, 2020, Paul Collins Beat. Oh my gosh, so many jellyfishes on that list. Great, great, great bands that are classified as power pop, and people consider them the greatest power pop bands of all time. But I'm going to tell you right now, the Rubenus. It's got to be the Rubenus. This band formed in 1970 when singer-guitarist John Rubin and singer-guitarist Tommy Dunbar came together when they were 13-year-olds. They formed a band to play at their high school, and it's just been a nearly 55-year trek ever since then. Drummer Don Spent joined in 1971. Bassist Roy Ader joined in 1974. And that was the initial lineup that we all became familiar with. Uh, there were some minor changes in the lineup or a minor change, uh, but I'll tell you about that in a few moments. Now, the Rubenus have four great singers, four great singers in the band. Now, John Rubin is the main lead singer, followed closely by Tommy Dunbar and also uh, Al Chan, who joined later, Got some great lead vocals in there as well. Drummer Don Spent even handled vocals. Now, the songs were, were overall were written by Tommy Dunbar, and he had a few different collaborators. Like in the early years, uh, James Gangwer uh, was uh, his collaborator, and he's had people like Alex Carlin, Kyle Vincent, and some other people join him, uh, you know, co-writing songs and such. Now, I have a theory here. Now, some of you have a deity that you worship under. And let's just, for example, in this uh, case, I'm going to use God as an example. Uh, God is a great songwriter. And he sits up in the heavens and he writes his songs and he goes, ah, that's a good one. I'm going to save that one for Lennon and McCartney. Oh, that's a good one too. I, you know what? I'm going to save that for Gershwin. Oh, I'm going to save this one for whatever. Oh, well, that song's kind of mediocre. Oh, I'll give that to Billy Joe Armstrong. And then he writes these songs and he goes, oh, I'm saving these for Tommy Dunbar. And he built up the stack. So the time Tommy Dunbar was old enough to play guitar and write songs, God already had a huge stack of songs. And the Rubenus have recorded those songs. These are just gifts from the ether. Amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I've got to dive into their catalog, so let's get started. Uh, the first release I'm going to show is actually their most recent release because it was actually their first recordings, and that is a collection called the CBS Tapes. This was not recorded for the label CBS. This was recorded at CBS Studios. This is essentially the band. They're, I don't even think they're out of their teens yet. You know, they're, they're upper teens, maybe even mid-teens, and they're just going through their live set, essentially, and performing songs that they were later going to record for the first album uh so you've got some covers on here some amazing they do a couple beatles songs they do she loves you and i want to hold your hand they do uh the defranco family uh heartbeat it's a love beat and i mean just those two songs together if that attracts you if you're thinking beatles and defranco family that's kind of like the core of what the Rubenus are all about. It is basically just taking in these, just immersing yourself in music. You know, you love R&B, you love pop, you love this, you love that, and you just absorb it, and then it comes out in its own natural and, and original, unique way, and that's what the Rubenus were all about. So this is, it's not exactly the Rubenus that, uh, you know, that, that power pop and Rubenus, but there's plenty of power. They're having fun in the studio. It's goofing around. It's live, recorded to tape, you know, two-inch tape, I think. And it's just them having a grand old time. This may not be your first great introduction to the band, but it shows you that the band here that you heard in 1976 on these tapes, it's the same energy uh, even today, uh, nearly 55 years later. And it's absolutely incredible. 
definitely check out the CBS tapes. But let's jump into their debut album. came out in 1977. This was produced by Gary Phillips, Matthew King Kaufman, and Glenn Kalatkin. And this is a classic album. This is the album that features their version of I Think We're Alone Now, the Tommy James and the Shondell song. Uh, and that was actually, it was either a top 40 hit in 77 or at least close to it. Now, it was very, very different from what was going on because, you know, everyone was expecting this punk energy, this punk band coming out. And this band... Definitely a lot of energy, but sweet vocals, sweet harmonies, sweet melodies. Like I said, gifts from the heavens. Incredible. This was an amazing debut. This was a band that by this time, probably early 20s, and they were already fully formed. Just absolutely incredible. Because again, they'd been playing together for many, many years before that album was recorded. Now their next album, called Back to the Drawing Board, this came out in 1979, produced by Gary Phillips and Matthew King Kaufman. Again, absolutely incredible collection of songs. Their biggest, best known original is called I Want to Be Your Boyfriend. That is on this, but it's jam-packed full of other great original songs. Absolute killer choruses, hooks, everything, power, everything that you want in great music is here. If you want the monkeys and the Beatles and the Archies and the stylistics and, and uh, you just mix it all together. That's the Rubenus in friggin' credible back to the drawing board. Now I will tell you now, now these are the original line records CDs that first came out. Uh, luckily Yep Rock has reissued these on CD. So you're going to be able to get those and they're also reissued on vinyl as well. Uh, I don't own the Yep Rock ones, but I own these original line ones. Now bassist Royce Ader left the band and he was replaced by a gentleman by the name of Al Chan. So they went into the studio in 1980 and 81 and they recorded these songs and this was supposed to be sort of getting ready for their third album, but it was never released. And this is just a continuation of that great sound. And adding Al to the lineup, it was like going, oh, French fries with your burger? Man, this is great together. And yeah, this is just another great, incredible collection of songs. And this remained unreleased until 1993. So these recordings sat in the vaults for 13 years, and us Ruben News fans never even knew they existed. Or actually, probably some people did, but I didn't. But when this came out, I was, whoa, that's crazy good. That's awesome. It's a great, great collection, lots of great songs. Now, those three albums I just talked about, they can be found on a three-CD set called The LP Collection, Volume 1. Now, there is a Volume 2 of this that contains the next three pieces of vinyl, but it never came on CD, so you can actually track that down. In fact, you can track a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about off of their popplus1.com site. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. This is wonderful because it contains not only those three albums I talked about, but they have bonus tracks, bonus tracks, and every one of them is worthwhile. Incredible, melodic, and it, it, it just lifts you with joy. That's the great thing about music, about power pop music, about, you know, people who are having fun creating this music and that joy just coming out through the music and, uh, and infecting the listener with, with that same kind of passion and joy. So this is a great little three CD collection and it contains their first three albums. Albums. This is kind of like a beginner's guide to the Rubenews. Now, the Rubenews, unfortunately, they went on a very long hiatus, but then Tommy and John got together. Uh, now, somewhere around this time, they actually did the theme song to Revenge of the Nerds, uh, but it was like really Devo sounding, really keyboards, but that's actually Tommy and John from the Rubenews. It's actually credited to the Rubenews, but this is an EP that came out. It was called Party of Two, and this was produced by Todd Rundgren, Willie Wilcox, Chasm Sultan and Roger Powell. Utopia. So this is essentially Tommy and John backed by Utopia. The original was just an EP and they had an MTV hit called If I Had You Back. Now this Wounded Bird CD adds some bonus tracks to it as well. All of them worthwhile. Ruben was incredible. Now even though it was kind of stylistically different, still great pop, still joyful, still wonderful to listen to. Now of course then the Ruben was, again went back into hibernation so to speak. So Al Chan, Tommy Dunbar, Don Spint, they got together with John Seabury from the group Psychotic Pineapple, and they formed a band called Vox Pop. And this is very Rubenesque sounding. 
Rubenesque, 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 something like that. And this is a great collection of songs. There's a song in here called Must Be a Word that has become a Rubenesque standard right now. It's incredible. But also there's something on here that a lot of you new wave people should know about, a song called Ink and Paper. Some of you might go, hey, there's a modern English song called Ink and Paper. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Dunbar wrote it. I'm not supposed to say that, but Tommy Dunbar wrote it. I think he's credited too, but uh, this is a, a version of Ink and Paper that Modern English covered. That is a Tommy Dunbar original. And this is the American CD. There is also a Japanese version of the CD that looks like this, which is great. It's a uh, obviously a takeoff on the Beatles. It even has that little fold-out cover there. Uh, really wonderful. And this actually has, I think, the same bonus tracks as the American. So, But I, I love it just for the cover. So finally, John Rubin and Tommy Dunbar got back together again, uh, uh, and they went in the studio, and uh, they had involvement from Rubenus and from other people, and they recorded the album called Paleophonic, produced by Kevin Gilbert. This is a Kevin Gilbert production, and Boy, is this awesome. It's got that big, bold, great, unique, distinct Rubenu sound. And it is just, it's just jumping from your speakers full of great songs. They do a sort of surf instrumental of Star Trek on this, I think. It's called um, uh, Surf Trek. So, but yeah, it's just chock full of great, great music. Definitely check that out. It was a great return to form for the Rubenus, And we were just all crazy in love with it that came out in 1998 i actually saw them at uh it was either poptopia or IT ipo on the same bill as shoes hello boy was i lucky that night the next ruben news release was crimes against music now i only have this uh uh, I guess this is like an advanced version of it. I do have to get a version in a jewel case or digipack. And what this is, is Don Spint had taken a little hiatus from the band. So Al Chan, Tommy Dunbar, and John Rubin continued with the Rubin News. They had a drummer by the name of like Nick DiVergilio, or I, I can't pronounce English. But this is, it's a collection of cover versions. And it's top notch, fantastic. It's got energy, uh, but it shows you where their roots are. You know, it's got a cover of Brandy. The uh, uh, Looking Glass song, you know, with a lot of uh, power to it. Uh, Bend Me, Shape Me by the American Breed. It's got Elvis Costello's Pump It Up. Um, the Sweets, Little Willie. It's just a really fun collection. Uh, a little edgier than some of the Ruben News albums, but really a great collection. That's called Crime is Against Music. And that came out in 2003. So definitely check that out if you want to hear the Ruben News do some great cover versions. In the year 2006, they came out with... Whoa, an incredible album called Twist Pop Sin. This album was produced by Gary Phillips, who had produced the first two Rubenus albums. So it was a reunion with him. And it's just so full of great, wonderful songs. I mean, John sounds great. Tommy's still, you know, telepathically receiving these songs from God. Al is just, uh, you know, he's just every release, every day Al proves that, hey, he was a great addition to the band. And you know what? Even today, he's still considered the new kid in the band, even though he's been in the Ruben News for 45 years. Twist Pops In, incredible collection of songs. Now, I actually have two versions. I have this version here, which is on the Rock Indiana label. And then I have a version, I think this is Japanese, and this has the same songs on the album, but I think that they're kind of mixed around. Plus, it has a bonus live disc in it. So that's Twist Pops In by the Ruben News. It came out in 2006. Their next album was an album called Biff Bop Boing, and this is a children's album. Now, Don was still out of the band, but they had a gentleman by the name of, I think, Dave Rokish or something playing drums, and then Susie Davis on keyboards. So they were actually a five-member version of the Rubenus, but John, Tommy, and Al are there, and it's a great collection because there's a couple originals, but there's also an acapella cover of Witch Doctor, which is, of course, the Chipmunk song, and then, you know, classic songs like Peanut Butter, they do Boris the Spider, uh, they do Yo-Ho, you know, the theme from Pirates of the Caribbean, and they do a great version of the Archie's Sugar Sugar, and that came out in 2010, uh, really a wonderful collection. You know, when you're talking about kids' music, is you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it, let's just say it's a family album. You know, because it's one that the parents can enjoy just as much as the kids, uh, but the kids aren't going to be offended or they're going to go, Mom, Dad, what's love? You know, right here, they're going to go, Boris the Spider. Ooh, scary. Also, I believe later that same year, they put out an album called Automatic Toaster. And this was a new lineup uh, of the band. Of course, still Al, John, and Tommy. But their new member was a drummer by the name of Robbie Wrist. 
and Robbie is a incredible musician. Of course, he's an actor, yeah, cousin Oliver, but he's a, a great musician, great songwriter uh, and producer. And he joined them on this. Now, this album is edgier than some of the stuff uh, that the Reuben is due. It's got that power. You know, I mean, Robbie brought that sort of influence in there. But it's also, it's not quite as straightforward. It's maybe a little goofier sometimes. Uh, and I'm not knocking that because I because when you see the Ruben who's live, they are fun and they're, you know, you're laughing in between songs because they're joking amongst each other. It's not like a comedy thing. It's just them just being naturally free-spirited and having fun. And that's what Toaster is. A great collection of songs there. Uh, and uh, you definitely need to check that out by the Ruben who's. That came out in 2010. The next release was something called the Ruben Ooze EP and this is uh, a rare thing I believe because uh, you can't get it on their website anymore but it has six songs on it and they are all very wonderful Ruben Ooze songs now this one's kind of a jokey little thing there at the bottom uh, but it's still fun to listen to and I think this was uh, the first release maybe with Don Spint back in the band he had come back from his hiatus and basically ever since the band has been back to those four Tommy Dunbar John Rubin, Al Chan, and Don Spint. And really, absolutely, it, this is really, really fun. Um, the next album was an album called 45, and that came out in 2015. <laughs> you know when I do this, when I have to stop and I just shake my head, it's just incredible. <laughs> this band never lets you down. Never, ever let you down. Now, this is the U.S. version of the CD, and it is wonderful. And, of course, there you see it says it has two bonus tracks. Uh, well, I also have the Japanese version, which has a completely different cover. Uh, and this Japanese version has those two bonus tracks plus an additional two bonus tracks. Both of those are taken from the EP. So that means that if you are a collector, you only need to track down three more songs, I believe. I don't think they turned up anywhere else. And then finally, uh, the last studio album that I'm going to talk about right now is the incredible album by the name of From Home. This came out in 2019. It was produced by and co-written by Chuck Prophet. He's an alternative music icon, Americana icon. Uh, he's been around for almost as long as the Rubenus have. And it's an incredible, killer collection of songs. It's almost like they're making a full circle uh, because it sounds fresh, exciting, new. All, John's voice is still amazing. Tommy's songs are still amazing. Uh, but it actually sounds like they're revitalized in a way, but they've never sounded different. So I know it's kind of hard to describe, but I guess every Ruben Who's album sounds like they're revitalized because every Ruben Who's album is so full of absolute joy and energy. Now, I don't have any live albums to talk about, but I will talk about a few compilations right here because they are very important uh, for you to own if you want to build your Ruben Who's catalog. The first one I'm going to talk about is one called Garage Sale, and this has a lot of unreleased tracks, uh, rarities, uh, things taken off tape that maybe uh, were never going to be released that might have been demos, things that should have been released, everything. This came out on the Big Deal Records label, and this was just a revelation at the time because you got to hear Ruben Who's songs that you had not heard before it came out in 1994 i believe and here is the japanese version of the very same compilation and this contains bonus tracks and uh, it's just stellar wonderful now here's something that not all ruben news fans have seen it is called bomb shelter it's sort of a continuation of the garage sale stuff and uh, uh lots of rarities and things that probably would not have been re uh, released otherwise i mean song wise they should have been but you know they're like you know cassette recordings and stuff it still sounds really good uh, and it's still great to hear these unreleased songs because they were you know behind the scenes they were trying different styles of music maybe trying to sell songs uh you know revenge of the nerds things like that uh, uh which was very different than what they would release but it's, it's still amazing to hear these amazing performers and songwriters putting out so much great music, especially, you know, since we had been deprived of so much Ruben Ooze music, we had no idea that they were recording all of that. Now, here's another great primer for anyone who wants to get into the Ruben Ooze, and that is a three CD box set called Everything You Always Wanted to Know About the Ruben Ooze But Was Afraid to Ask. Came out in 2007. 
essentially contains like most of the first two albums plus some uh, b-sides and rarities and then the third album and then uh, later tracks after that and then the third disc is all live i think it was recorded in 78 or something so a classic period the next compilation i'm going to tell you is called one two that's it and this is a two cd compilation uh it contains a disc one called unreleased which is pretty self-explanatory although i know some of that stuff has been released elsewhere uh and then there's one called covers which is sort of a continuation of that crimes against music uh and this is a great two cd compilation there's another compilation that came out in 2009 i think called hodgepodge and that contains a lot of the unreleased tracks here plus some other ones um i have that coming but i wanted to make this video before it arrived so i'm just going to put the picture right there and show it to you uh i mean i'll buy anything ruben is as long as there's at least one song i don't own by them uh and then finally the final cd i'm going to show you right now is a cd called the best of the ruben and of course, it looks like, you know, the bazooka bubblegum packaging, because that's kind of what they are. Power pop bubblegum. It's melodic. It's pew, heaven down here to earth. It's the Ruben Ooze. And this is a great collection. It even contains the single, uh, Just a Matter of Time, back with Rumble in My Hood, which was not released anywhere else uh, uh, until this came out. And that is a great collection. It's a career spanning. It doesn't have stuff, you know, from, uh, you know, from home. And uh, I don't think it has anything from 45. This is a band. It's a gift to us. An amazing band. I cannot say enough great things about it. In fact, what I've done is I put together a medley. It's a long medley. It contains snippets of 30 songs from throughout their entire career. I want you to just sit back, relax, give this a listen, and I will see you on the other side. I think we are now.
Well, that's it. I hope that this inspires you to check out the music of the Rubinus. A lot to catch up on. Uh, but please, you know, if you want to get your collection started, go to popplus1.com and then you can order whatever uh, Rubinus things they have in, in stock. Uh, and then you can go elsewhere. You know, like I said, there's reissues of the first two albums. Uh, there's a Japanese version of this and Spanish version of that. Uh, and it's incredible. It's wonderful. I really think you've taken the time to watch this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. Oh, before we go, I know I probably made mistakes along the way here, but I apologize for that. But you get the gist of what I was talking about, right? Eh? 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 <laughs>
Sunday.